welcome to our today's uh, webinar, uh, How to Start in Affiliate Marketing, a special a treat for beginners. Today with us we have the queen of our support team here at Propeller Arts. Her name is Anastasia. You will keep hearing me calling her Nastia or Miss Nastia. Did you see that's it? That's how we call her, All right? Yeah, and I will be not alone together. I will have my friend, the superstar of the accounting team, the master of the affiliate marketing, and my student, by the way. Please, so, ladies and gentlemen, welcome Konstantinas, also known as Konstant. Stop it. Thank you for the introduction as well. Yeah, and together we will provide you through the affiliate marketing world today. Let's look at the agenda. Let's look at what we're going to present you today. Today we will talk about affiliate marketing, what it is, uh, what are the key players of the affiliate marketing. If you can really make money online working as an affiliate marketer, if it fits you, if it's good for you. Uh, we'll also show you how you can get an offer or the product that you will promote because it's a real business so you will work as a serious businessman. And we will also show you uh, how to create the perfect ad campaign to attract as many audience as you uh, can. And at the very beginning of the workshop, we'll create the first ad campaign together at the Propeller Ads platform. And at the very, very, very end of the workshop, you will find a sweet surprise from us. So keep watching. Yeah. From Miss Nastia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So All right. We see about 140 people now. Yeah. All right, shall we start? Yes, I guess we are ready to start. And let's jump right in. Part number one, what is affiliate marketing? Mm -hmm. So question number one for you guys. Uh, you're so active, so I'm expecting too many answers in like 10 seconds. Have you heard of affiliate marketing before? Yes or no? Yes or no? They love surprises. People love surprises. <laughs> <laughs> We, yeah. oh, no, somebody of you haven't heard about affiliate marketing. That's okay. Actually, it's nice. It's All very diverse. We have both yeses and noses, and that's why we're here to make the noses yeses, yeah. and yeses, yes or yes. Wow, yes, no, yes, no. <laughs> I love the base. Great. <laughs> All right, let's start then. Actually, give us a definition as a teacher. Of course. Actually, affiliate marketing is the process of promoting third-party products or services that do not belong to you and earn a commission for that. So you, as an affiliate marketer, go to the direct advertiser or special platform, let's say CPA network, get an offer, then you need to find the audience. And uh, as many people you can uh, get you can attract their attention to the much money you can receive and the advertiser that provides you with an offer uh, Defines what action people need to do in order for you to be paid They need to make a purchase a conversion a download and install and so forth And we will provide you with more info later. So generally affiliate marketing is the process of promoting third-party products that do not belong to you and earn a commission for that. Let's look at the example of, let's say, anti-wrinkle cream. And Konsti, would you please tell us how it works in specific example? Yes, okay. So, uh, can we go to the next slide, please? Uh-huh. There you go. So, um, we want to promote an anti-wrinkle cream because we all want to look young and beautiful for as long as it's possible. So let's say Nivea wants to do that. What they do? They create the offer and they are looking for affiliate marketeers, people that could be you from now on, to promote it to the appropriate audiences. Now, as soon as the uh, audience buys the cream, actually, if you find the appropriate audience and you sell it to them, then the company, Nivea in this case, will uh, pay you. Obviously, the more creams you sell, the more money you will get. But apart from that, 
have in mind, keep in mind that if you keep selling and you have good results and good quality of uh, users, of conversions, then you can go back to the advertiser and uh, negotiate better terms, higher payouts, and basically that's the path for you to become from a beginner affiliate marketeer to a shark. Uh -huh. Yeah, sounds easy, right? And we provide you with a few examples of the products that can be promoted online. Please tell us maybe some of you tried to promote such kind of offers or maybe uh, some of you bought them. Have you ever bought the green coffee powder or gaji berries? I don't know what else. Uh, please share your stories and comments in the chat. We would love to know them. All and this healthy stuff these days, Miss Nastia. All this healthy stuff, green coffee powder. <laughs> yeah, it's very actual. Uh, so, and while uh, you are thinking about any ideas or your stories, uh, I would like to draw your attention to the uh, special ads maybe some of you seen in the internet that it's very popular nowadays uh, to say that it is your chance you can go and trade without money you can have luck and so forth and i would like to ask you consta as the expert in the forex industry if it's real to make money in so short period of time if it really works and we would love to know your experience and your point of view I, okay, I will share the story. I worked in Forex, I was not trading, I worked in the other side. Um, what I saw there is people eager to make money, like you guys today, that you're here, you wanna learn how to make money, and of course, making money online means that you can be uh, at the comfort of your whatever, house, Airbnb, hotel room or anything, all over the world, and make money. Now, Forex and iGaming are two industries beautiful, and yes, people can make money there. If you um, if you start trading today and you know how to do it, etc., etc., yes, you probably can make a lot of money. However, the risk involved is huge. Mm -hmm. Huge. Um, it gives you the opportunity to um, make money fast, but it's not normally a lifetime career that you can pursue. Don't get us wrong. If you want to trade, if you want to gamble. You're more than welcome and uh, actually you should. Uh, what we're here to show you is the differences between affiliate marketing and these other two very popular ways of making money online. And the decision is always yours. And it's not a competition, by the way. Uh, affiliate marketeers for sure can trade as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if we talk about building a career in promoting uh, different products or services, we would recommend you to start with affiliate marketing because risks are not as high as in Forex and iGaming. And uh, you don't have a fortune. You don't have to have a huge amount of money to start with. Probably it will take some time. So you need to have some time to gather statistics, data, some experience, how people interact with your ads and how uh, they motivated to buy something. But at the end, you will have a good ex uh, experience and a good amount of money. And if you have luck, which is really important, you can go to Forex and iGaming vertical uh, as this is like the higher level for experienced users in my opinion and this is our recommendation to you now do you agree with me constant i can i not agree with you <laughs> <laughs> of course <laughs> You're responsible for my future, so i have to <laughs> yeah. let's look at the chat we have a question what about promoting forex type of fluid offers like it's not the forex itself but it's a kind of affiliate offers. What do you think, Const? It's, it is a good beginning for uh, affiliating career. For for the starters, we will, okay. This is a bit of spoiler alert. We will show you later what's best for starting. But forex uh, offers, crypto offers, financial offers are booming. The truth mm -hmm. is, but in order to be there, experienced enough, let's start with uh, baby steps. Otherwise. I mean, you don't start uh, running, okay, you don't start flying an airplane before you start riding a bicycle, right? That's mm -hmm. I just thought, yeah, sounds like a good example of why not starting right away. Okay, let's yeah. move on. Can you really make money? Oh, sorry, that was my fault. So, can you really make money with affiliate marketing? Guys, show us the money, show us the money. 
<laughs> yeah, we will show you the money, but before we're going to show you the video, uh, we invite you to watch a video with one of the influencers of the affiliate marketing. His name is KJ Rocker, and he made a fortune out of 10 bucks in a pocket. And he shares briefly, very briefly, his story uh, and how he uh, achieved such a success working as affiliate marketeer. So we invite you to watch. So with KJ, KJ Rother, uh, born in Pakistan, he's worked at a call center in his college years. And one thing that he told me recently is that, you know, he started out with a $10 investment. Could you tell us a little bit more about that, KJ? Well, yeah, I was broke and I needed money and all I had was $10, um, which I use for internet connection. And right. yeah, I used that money to get internet connection started uh, working as a freelancer uh, uh, for different people. And one of those clients were an affiliate who actually was into affiliate marketing and everything. And one, during one of our last projects, I actually asked him if you can let me know how you do this and you can give me some, you know, how some guidance, I'm not asking for everything. Just give me uh, some guidance so I can, um, do something for myself as well. And yeah, he was uh, kind enough to actually give me hosting and all the uh, tools which I needed and to spam Yahoo Answers <laughs> and <laughs> run traffic. Yeah, I used to spam Yahoo Answers and you know put all my offer links and all that. And that's how I started. Briefly, this guy told, told uh, that he made a fortune out of $10 because uh, he was lucky enough, he was smart enough, uh, and he uh, was able to uh, create his own company even. Uh, let's look at some statistics and some screenshots, uh, how much money you can make working as affiliate marketer. Uh, here you can find the screenshot from Propeller Ads uh, account. Uh, actually, it is a place where you create ad campaigns and spend money. And the other uh, screenshot is made uh, from the Zedu platform. It is our partner program. Uh, and this is the place where you actually earn. Uh, and if you, if you compare the spending and the earning, uh, you can find that uh, this is a good sum of money, isn't it? It is. Actually, I want to add here that um, I don't know if you guys can see clearly the numbers, but it's just examples from uh, quite beginners and um, I see in propeller statistics this person has been uh, working with it for actually for 22 days in March spent eleven thousand dollars and uh, profited 2.35 I cannot really see it, but profited out of it and this shows that if people continue we have cases of affiliates spending uh, one million dollars in one year for example i'm not even kidding guys i'm not even kidding it means that there is money here right yeah, so that's right here. yes and i see that some of you know they do already that's great good for you guys they do, yes they love they do yeah, they love they do that's great and we uh, were really wondering uh, how much money you need to have as uh, the budget uh, for you to start working the uh, affiliate marketer. And let's look uh, at the our calculation. We grouped all the uh, expenses according to the platforms or sources that you're going to work with. Uh, and let's start from traffic. Consta, would you please give us a few comments about traffic, what it is and how much it can cost? So traffic, in my very humble opinion, is the alpha and the omega of uh, affiliate marketing. What it is, traffic is basically the audiences, the, the users, or let's call them the people that you're looking to target. They come, traffic comes from traffic sources normally, and let's just give an example that Propeller Ads is a traffic source. And uh, your goal is to find the appropriate traffic for your offer and uh, make it convert and get the money. So a very good starting point is more or less $300. It's for testing to start the campaigns, see how it goes, optimize them, of course, with the help of uh, support and uh, account manager, and uh, then scale. Obviously, with this $300, you're looking to make more money so that then you continue um, uh, depositing, um, creating more campaigns and obviously uh, starting your career in affiliate marketing. 
Yeah, and you also need to have the platform where you gather the audience uh, and attract people's attention. So you need to provide the detailed explanation of the offer that you work with. And for that purpose, you might need a landing page or the website page. And if you're not familiar with the coding and you don't know how to make it by yourself, you can ask the special tech guys to help you. And it would cost about 20 bucks monthly for you and you will have a perfect landing page with you. Also, you might need a spy tool. This is a great tool that can help you to uh, monitor what kind of ad campaigns are running nowadays in the market. Uh, and uh, probably it's the source of inspiration for you to see how other people work uh, and uh, rebuild it, remake it, and make perfect creatives for your brilliant ad campaigns. And what about tracking? Before I go to tracking, I need to. I want to answer to a few questions because this obviously is very controversial. The starting amount. Um, so I see a question about. Uh, okay, I see somebody saying that around forty dollars for spy tools is uh, hilarious. Maybe it is, but actually for starting, it is not. Um, it's not. It's not the tool that if you don't have it, you cannot uh, continue. Also, again, we're talking about really starting points here. I see also somebody asking, why do you need $300 if you were broke to start? Of course, guys, if we can uh, sit in front of a laptop right now and uh, have this uh, workshop being presented to us, $300, yes, it's, a, it's an amount, but it's a starting point that can give you the uh, ability to continue. To start a campaign, not, not, not to start the whole thing, but just a campaign, it will be at least $30. So you need to have uh, a benchmark of the ability to scale and grow in this. And uh, one more I want to answer before we proceed is about uh, how to create a landing page without coding skills. We will show you later that through the CPA networks, when you grab a campaign, well, you grab an offer, the landing page is given to you. So basically what you need to create there is just a campaign. The, the rest mm -hmm. is created already and given to you. We will come to that a bit later. Now, about the tracking tools, the tracking tools are, is, is what integrates your, um, your um, activity, how many conversions you get, etc., to the traffic source, to propeller ads in, case, in this case. So if you're connected, you can show us how many sales you performed, etc., and we will be able to help you optimize your campaigns and scale them. If we know that you got 10 conversions out of at this X amount of um, impressions then we have to do this and that to make it um, better and more profitable so yeah and uh, totally you can see that we assume to have about from four to five hundred dollars to start with and I see a few comments that it this is uh, this amount can be uh, different from time to time that's okay uh, it depends on the traffic that you work with the tools that you use uh, but we uh, tried to uh, some of the average one, the average amount of money that you need to make the first test. Okay, and uh, now we know how much money we have and it's time to know uh, how we would spend this kind of money. Uh, and actually uh, every ad uh, can be uh, valued in different pricing models and we provided you with two uh, the most popular pricing models in affiliate marketing CPM and CPC and let's start with the CPM abbreviation again before I proceed CPM and CPC are two traditional models but there are way more models there mm -hmm. for the ones that are already experienced we know that there is more <laughs> for the ones that they're beginners we just tell you uh, simple stuff here guys all right uh, so CPM stands for cost per meal. Don't ask why the Latin abbreviation at the end. Nobody knows, but it's there. So it means 1,000 impressions. One impression means that one person saw your ad. So you have to pay a fixed rate in every 1,000 impressions that you show. Before you run away and get scared, let's talk about the United States, where the average CPM is uh, 2 to $3. And USA is one of the most expensive and more profitable uh, geos in the affiliate world. So mm -hmm. obviously $3 you pay for 1000 views, you are expecting to get uh, an X amount of conversions and get bigger profits than the $3 that you spent. 
Okay. And the other popular pricing model is cost per click CPC, where you also pay for impressions, but only impressions that led to clicks. So actually you pay for every, every click. Uh, and um, this uh, pricing model allows you to control your budgets to know uh, how the ad campaign works. And it perfectly works for push notification ad format. So if you're a newbie and you don't know what ad format to choose, we recommend you to start with push notification CPC pricing model and then estimate your campaign results. We will come back to that very little later for now. Uh, so CPM is more effective than CPC. Actually, CPC is good for testing and CPM is good for scaling. So you start with CPC and then move on and choose CPM pricing model to enlarge, to expand your ad campaign coverage. Uh -huh. Any other questions? Let's proceed and see. Okay, yes. ecosystem. Maybe it's time to explain how the whole thing works, and if I may. So, uh, let's talk about Carlsberg. Uh, Carlsberg, a beer. Don't ask why, guys, during the rehearsals. That's what came up my mind. It's 5.30 here today, 9 p.m., and uh, we will have a beer after the uh, workshop. <laughs> Uh, so, yes, let's talk about Casper. Casper wants to promote their um, product online somehow. Um, what they have to do is to create the offer and go to a CPA network. A CPA network is a company that gathers offers from the direct advertisers and promotes them to affiliate marketeers. You, as the marketeer, you go there, you choose what you want to promote, and then you have to find the advertising network, the the traffic source as we said before and again just a small example propeller ads then propeller ads has to find the publishers which they are the website owners and um, send your campaign to them while the, you, the while the publishers are showing your advertisements we wish that users will see it get interested and convert obviously when the user converts buys a product or uh, deposits in Forex or whatsoever, you get paid. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Now, Nasdaq is going to say the same things, but in a much nicer way, guys. <laughs> Let's say just in other words, the same scheme. Uh, actually, uh, on the one side, we have the product, the offer, uh, who uh, is owned by direct advertisers or CPA networks. And on the other hand, we have uh, audience, the traffic actually, and publishers who own websites. So uh, you as an affiliate marketer, go to the CPA network or to direct advertiser, get an offer and then go to the ad network to create a campaign. And your aim is to get a traffic. Now, how do you get a traffic? On the other side, the ad network uh, has the group of clients, a group of partners that are called publishers, and they sell ad placements on their websites to display ads on that, on that spot. So you actually find traffic on their websites where that are owned by publishers. And people go to that website, start to interact with the ads, and this is how the traffic comes up to your campaign. This is the magic happens. And you may ask, we should spend money. And how do we earn money? You actually spend money creating ad campaigns at the ad network. That's right. But you also paid by actions or by conversions that every user make. So users make conversions and you are paid by direct advertiser or by CPA network. This is how the process looks like. If you have any questions, guys, you may ask them in a the chat, and you may also refer to your guidebooks, to your Bible, and find some useful links there also. Uh, and of course, you may join Telegram chat to discuss it later. Please come join Telegram community. Miss Nastia, the most popular question the last three, four minutes is if we can have this recorded and show it later. Yes, guys, it will be recorded. It will be on YouTube. It will be sent to you in, uh, in your emails as well, the ones that you are here now, or that you had to run for a call. I saw somebody had to do that. So, ah, we have a question. It's time to have a question. What do you think is the most essential part of affiliate e ecosystem? Let's just go back to the memory lane. 
we had um, the publishers, uh, we had the um, uh, traffic sources, right. we had advertisers, the CPA networks. Please write to us. What do you think is the most important, guys? Nobody's writing now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Me? drop a line. What, what do you think is the most essential part of the whole ecosystem? Remind so, us the parts. So let us remind one more time. Just write products, traffic. I like these two answers. It's the only two though, but yes. <laughs> we <laughs> traffic, publishers, direct advertisers, traffic, okay. Consumer, consumer makes makes sense. But mm -hmm. oh, oh, all right, for let, let's reveal the answer and then we explain why we find it the most important. Let's do that. Yeah, Join. quality ad network. <laughs> That's more <smart. laughs> the traffic, the offer. Okay, and I guess it's time to reveal the right answer. Traffic. Yes. Traffic, guys. Yes, yeah. yes, it is. <laughs> because. <laughs> and the omega and it's where you will find the appropriate audiences right yeah Perfect. yeah people's matter we managed to manipulate the answer to people bravo miss nasia we managed that <laughs> great continue um, we continue uh, yeah yeah here we would like uh you to ask if you face any examples of the publishers advertisers so any key players of the affiliate network ecosystem uh, in the meantime, as you guys send your replies, if you know examples, for publishers, we're not looking for names like um, Manos Christodoulakis is the first name I saw in the chat. We are looking about, let's say, somebody is watching uh, a video on YouTube and there is an advertisement coming up. In this case, YouTube is a publisher. Uh, then, if we're looking for advertisers, we have the Nivea creams before, we have Carlsberg, but please still give us some examples of advertisers in the affiliate network, if you have any. Mm -hmm. CP networks, any hint, Ms. Nastia? Uh, we saw a screenshot on a few previous slides, mm -hmm. and one of you also said that you love this CPA network. Any guesses, guys? I, I would say that I love this CPA network, too. <laughs> No, just because it's our mother, no, mother. It's not. <laughs> it's not mother or sister or brother or basically it's our kid. It's from Palera's kid. Yeah, it's, uh, hmm. that's called constant. Yes, okay. We will say to no. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and for advertising platforms, guys, <clears throat> let's just let's just think of it and uh, <laughs> let's have an answer. Let's not forget that this uh, advertising platform is giving this workshop for us today. Maybe. <laughs> Any answers? <laughs> <laughs> the answer is... Okay, it's propeller ads and many, many more are. Don't get us wrong. Yes. There is so much, uh, so many amazing companies out there doing similar things and we are all awesome in our own ways. So mm -hmm. let's go on because we are running out of time a bit, as you see. All right. CPA offers and verticals. You uh -huh. get an offer, and you get an offer, and you get an offer. Everyone. <laughs> yeah. Every and, <laughs> and it's time to look at how CPA offers look like. So let's uh, see at uh, the abbreviation CPA offer. Actually, it stands for cost per action. It is uh, a product or a service that can pr be promoted by affiliate marketers. And here you can find a few examples of the affiliate uh, networks and CPA offers that can be promoted by uh, <laughs> affiliate advertisers. Welcome back, Consta. <laughs> we missed one slide, but you're back. That is okay. <laughs> no, but it's not goodbye. I can't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So oh, easily, guys, so easily. All right, let's go. <laughs> yeah, and I started to explain uh, what uh, what is CPA offer. And actually, every CPA offer has a number of characteristics, like the price. Actually, you need to know how much you will be paid as the affiliate marketer. Uh, targeting, it's a characteristic that um, 
allows you to know what countries to target, what devices people should have, what operational system, and so forth. Conversion flow. Actually, uh, this determines how people need to interact with the ad for you to get paid. So they need to make a purchase, a conversion, uh, to download something, to install, to subscribe, and so forth. Some uh, offers provide uh, with uh, condition and requirements. Um, some of them do not allow to work you with adult traffic, to incentive traffic, bot traffic, and so forth, and creatives. Uh, also, some of the offers provide you with a bunch of images and text that you can use to create ad campaign when you come to the uh, affiliate network like Propello Ads. And let's look uh, at the example. How the example, or let's look at everybody smoking me that I went for a beer already, that I will break from you guys. Guys, I don't know all of you. I know a few of you. I love you all, though. Uh, and if I meet you, I'm sure I'm going to love you in person. So, no, I don't want to go for my beer yet. So, <laughs> look how we can make you money. And then, yes, of course, beer for sure. So, here is an example of uh, an offer coming from Zedu, our favorite partner uh, company. It's called Oh My God VPN. Uh, VPN, by the way, is a, if you don't know, it's an application that helps you um, go in the web from a different uh, geographic location. So, as you can see on the top left corner, it's the creatives. It's how the advertisement looks, how the offer looks. Then you have the target team, which is the geos, the countries, um, and you see how much you, you get paid for each of them. So let's say for Indonesia, the price is 0 0.024, while for uh, Colombia, hello to Colombia, we said it again, it's 0 0.02. Now, cost per install is the conversion type because we just want the user to install this application. Once this happens, boom, you get paid. And then conditions and restrictions, uh, you see there is a, a cap of 200 conversions per day, so you cannot deliver more. Uh, they don't want bot or fraud traffic, which nobody wants, but we need to specify it, etc. This is how an offer looks, by the way. Easy and understandable, hopefully, right? Yeah, right. And um, I also said that people need to make an action in order for you to be paid. And here are a few main conversion flows uh, that are provided by uh, ad networks. And these are types of the actions that actually users should make. And let's start from CPI. CPI is my favorite. So let's imagine, and it's true, even in the room I'm sitting, there are people that they are still obsessed with Candy Crush. Remember Candy Crush? Mm -hmm. So if Candy Crush wants to promote their offer, you get it, and whoever installs it, you get paid for the install. Mm -hmm. And uh, SOI and DOI are uh, the easiest one. Uh, when users need to leave their info about cell phone number, about email address, and in case of double opt-in, they uh, also need to confirm such contact details. So single opt-in and double opt-in offers. I, will, I really want to reply to Adam because his question is really spot on. How can you make profit on an offer that pays out two cents? The cost to run uh, an offer in these geos is very, very small. We're talking about 0 0.0001. I'm not sure if I had one more. No, actually, I'm correct. Yes, of the cent. So the, the conversions you get, because it's a very easily convertible offer, will definitely cover it. And trust us, VPNs are one of the top, 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 top verticals running right now, not only propeller rods, but in the whole ecosystem. Hope mm -hmm. I answered your question. Now, uh, cost per sale, coming back to the people that want to play, play Candy Crush, these people sometimes get so nervous because they cannot pass the level that they start throwing their phones. But if they don't have a cover for their phone, they will break it. So these people, you have to find them and sell them a cover for their phone. Once they purchase it, boom, you get paid and they can peacefully play Candy Crush. Mm -hmm. Free trial. I believe many of you use this kind of products when you just start using a service or an app for free and then you pay for a subscription. Then you continue working with it on a paid basis. This is free trial. Cash and delivery is when you order something at home, maybe a sofa, maybe a phone or whatever, and it 
it, you get paid. Mm -hmm. One click. Actually, it's as easy as one click. So user needs to uh, hit the button subscribe, download, watch, uh, register, and so forth. And here is the conversion happens. OK, Consta has a break, another break now. Probably he will come back <laughs> in a couple of seconds. First time deposit, the next type of the offer. Uh, actually, uh, affiliates, you as affiliate marketer, get paid every time when a new user makes a deposit. So that's really easy. And here are the main conversion flows or the actions that users need to make in order for you as affiliate marketer to be paid. Consta, are you back? I am back. Imagine, guys, if one of the times this happens, the video comes back and you see me sipping some beer. That would be very funny. <laughs> <laughs> beer break for Consta. Oh. I hope my mom is not watching, guys. <laughs> OK. Um, and we have another question for you today. Which How is you the easiest, are the easiest conversion types? Let's remember them. Single of team, CPI. CPS, FTDs. Give us your opinion, guys. We need opinion. Apart from me having beer. <laughs> <laughs> One of the questions should be, what's your favorite beer, guys? <laughs> That's the SOI, great, Mohammed. CPA, that can be a tricky one. More. Yes. CPI and SOI, great, good job. Grace said SOI. Free trial, Kira, good guess. Tips of this. Very easy, depending on the on the flow, yes. Okay, a bit more advanced. Uh -huh. We have a little, yeah, okay, I think we're ready. I think Hoy Garten. Ahmed, I really love Hoy Garten. Of course, <laughs> I say that for every year right now, but yes. <laughs> so let's review the answer, shall we? Yes, sure. And yes, you're up. Okay. <laughs> So, you yeah, you were right, guys. Many of you were right. Single opt-in, cost per install, and one-click flows are the easiest one. Obviously, one because you get the conversion easily, you get paid easily, and uh, you can continue. So, some verticals. Ms. Yeah. yeah, here are the groups of the offers. They are grouped by uh, special characteristics and niches that uh, they work in. And among all the list of the verticals, you can find very clear words like dating, finance, games. But some of the words look weird, like sweepstakes and neutra. Consta, as my lovely student, would you provide us with a few comments about such verticals? Yes, I cannot wait. So utilities is, um, a, oh my god, VPN. VPNs or cleaners or basically applications that offer some uh, maintenance on your uh, electronics. These are called utilities. Then, okay, then we go to sweepstakes and that will be serious for, I don't know, for a second maybe, because sweepstakes are very, very important for us guys, for you. Um, what it is, companies out there want to gather databases of users, their emails or their phone numbers, so that they can then uh, send them uh, promotional material for sure. Now, a very smart way to do that was to create sweepstakes as a vertical. This is um, a raffle or a giveaway coming from uh, this company. Like, they give you the chance to win an iPhone, or they give you, um, they give you a card, uh, how we call it? What, a gift card uh, for to buy something from Walmart or whatever. So once the user writes their details, the conversion happens for you. You get paid, and uh, the uh, the company gathers the databases and they're good to go. Coupon, mm -hmm. yes, that's the word, Natasha. Thank you. I, I forgot the word. Now, new uh It's when people want to lose weight, or we're talking about main enhancement. Who knows? And these kind of things, uh, we call it Nutra. And uh, last but not least is home improvement, uh, which it's, again, uh, companies that they are renovating houses, they want to attract customers, all right? So imagine now two people sitting at their uh, of their house, they're just trying to watch something. 
and they are bombarded with a very beautiful new walk-in shower and the chance to get it for very, very cheap. This is a home improvement offer. Mm -hmm. And guys, please look at the list of the main verticals once again, because now we're going to offer you to it's, play a game. It's time. It's time. I cannot play, though. I know the answers, but let's play with you guys. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We will provide you with examples of the landing pages or creatives, and you need to guess what kind of vertical it is. All That's right. It. Remember, huh? innovations, this kind of stuff. If no. you have some answers, your collaboration, guys. Actually, this is how push notification at format looks like. We will tell you a bit later about it, but this is the example. Okay. okay. So, homes. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yes, that's right. It's home improvement. Home improvement, George. Yeah, great job. Let's move on. I, I see that the chat is lacking a bit because at some point it just starts coming. So okay. we have here what we have here, the lady. Uh -huh. Dating, that's very correct. We still have home improvement. Yes, we have a lack yeah. in the chat. Uh -huh. Okay, we will assume that people are at the correct uh, offer. <laughs> here something medical but not really medical uh -huh. I know some people that they're really into these uh, things <laughs> so we will have an answer there <laughs> i mean i see them in the chat and i know that they know <laughs> dating there's so many datings yes one. yeah yes I, it will start coming in you see it started yeah coming. yeah now i see that. Uh, yeah. next one yeah. <laughs> confusing but yeah. well, it's a lady, yeah, so don't be confused what they're looking down there. <laughs> they're just looking to lose some weight, guys. Male improvement, that's what I meant on OS. Don't not, be confused. <laughs> not only for gentlemen, also for ladies. <laughs> Nutra. Nutra, that's correct. Yes, that's right, Nutra. No, and one right. more. This, is, mm, this could be confusing. I really want to see the answers here. Uh-huh. The lady with the red hair, with the narrows. We got the categories. Okay, we will remind you then. Sweet. Maybe it's games. This is eye games. Game. Game. Eye game. Yeah, right answers. Starts coming up. Yes, it's gaming. And last but not least. Yeah, remember the raffle, the giveaway. Let's wait yes, for the sorry. sweeps. Yes. I see. I, I see people right. yeah, right. and they are nailing it. Bravo, guys. You're ready, huh? Yeah, you're you're, 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 you're born to do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, good job, guys. Moving on. Because we are really uh, we thought, yes. All right. So last, can you tell yeah. us? We uh, wanted to provide you with the three top verticals that are perfect, suitable for beginners. So uh, first one is sweepstake, because you don't have a fortune to start with and you have a wide range of different categories. You can um, work with giveaways, with raffles, with iPhone giveaways, with gift cards and so forth. So it is the diversity of offers. Apple. Apple sauce. Let's not never forget about Candy Crush and how it easy it is to get somebody to install an application. So it's obviously easy and uh, perfectly aligned for a beginner like some of you guys. Uh huh. And dating, of course, is the evergreen vertical that is uh, interesting for many affiliates. And it is also good that in dating you can uh, already uh, have the landing page and pre landers that already made for you. So you don't have to pay uh, for creating landing pages and so forth. So this is a great vertical to start with. Right. Uh huh. The key elements of ad campaigns. Let's see. May I? I will CR guys is the conversion rate. Mark Peters keeps asking about bonus. Maybe <laughs> you be patient. Maybe there's gonna be something at the end. Yeah. Mark, all right. CR conversion rate is of it's the percentage of the conversions you get under uh, the amount of the amount of impressions that you showed. It uh, it's affected by many factors. 
and let's see them. Landing page, does it look good? Um, is it uh, informative enough? Is it appealing to the audience? Then we have targeting, and the targeting is, um, are we targeting mobile or desktop or both? Uh, are we targeting the correct geos, et cetera, et cetera? The beat is how much you're willing to pay to get the traffic. And again, we can play with the beats, and um, you have to find the appropriate one for the best CR. Uh, Prelander, it's a page before the landing page to warm up the, the user. Nasty, I will say more in a bit. Advertising formats, it can be a pop under, it can be a push notification, it can be email, it can be a pigeon that uh, you will send it and they will open the door and get the, the message. It doesn't matter as long as it serves the CR. And last but not least, the creatives, how the notification looks, how the, the whole thing will be appealing to the audiences. Mm -hmm. And of course, when you create a campaign, you come to the point when you need to decide how much money you would spend for the traffic. So you know how much money the direct advertiser or the CPA network pays you. And now you need to determine how much you would pay for every click or for a thousand impressions of the uh, ad. So um, bidding is closely correlated to targeting. So first of all, you need to decide uh, what people you target, what geos, um, what devices, operational system, versions of it, and so forth, and then you go to bidding. And please don't forget that tier one countries, uh, these are the countries with uh, the very developed level, they have uh, more traffic, but the traffic costs higher than the average one. And if you just start working, we recommend you to start with the tier three countries. Uh, the traffic where is cheaper and you can test, make many tests and learn and gather data and then move on to tier one market. Uh, one more suggestion is one geo per one campaign. Although you can have many geos in one campaign, but think about it. If you have 10 geos and three of them don't work well, the whole campaign will die. It will drain it. It will. It will take it down. I don't. I forgot the word. Um, so also, if you have one geo, one campaign, easily optimizable. You see what works, what doesn't work, and you play around. And last but not least, while you're still new, but I say even when you will not be new anymore, uh, use recommendations for the beats on the platforms. Big platforms. We provide you with uh, a recommendation and. Uh, do it, follow it. If it uh, gives you not enough traffic, then uh, raise it. If it gives you too much traffic, get, get it lower, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Starting point. Yeah. And uh, here is the brief explanation of the difference between landing page and the pre-lander. Uh, we already said that you need to have a landing page to attract people's attention. So you need to provide the detailed explanation of the offer, how it can help uh, the people to be better, to lose weight, and so forth. And you also need to have the registration form of it, so uh, people can register, can um, access the full version of uh, the offer, and so yeah. forth. Yeah. yeah. And uh, also, you may have a pre-lender. Some of them are already made, and some of them should be made by yourself. And this is the kind of the warm-up of the audience. You should uh, use surveys, quizzes, games in order to attract as many people as you can. And then once they really interact with the pre-lander, if they are interested in it, then people are redirected to the landing page and to the page of the offer itself. This is the difference between landing and pre-landers. Just a quick note, some offers work better with, uh, with a pre-lander, some offers work better without a pre-lander. You have your account managers and support team to support you in choosing. We will come to you when you start creating campaigns. Mm -hmm. Advertising formats, push notifications, the uh, revolution of uh, 2017, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah. the user subscribes to be receiving notifications either on a phone or a laptop. Uh, we send them out at the non-specified time. And what they see, it's uh, a creative of your advertisement, of your offer. When they are interested and they click on it, then they land on the pre-lander or on the landing page, and the rest of the story is already familiar to you. <laughs> yeah. 
the other, the old school, but one of the most profitable ad formats, onclick or pop under or pop up, it can be called in many ways. And uh, here it works like when user uh, goes to the website, clicks anywhere on the page, a new window or a new tab opens and the ad starts loading. Once the ad is loaded fully, the script is loaded fully, the impression is counted. This is how the onclick works. And last but not least, interstitials, it's something in between, I would say. Um, so the user is navigating around the web. They just receive um, uh, a new tab, but it covers something around 70% of the, of the screen. They, are, they can close it uh, right away. And uh, again, if they like what they see, they click on it and they go to the landing page. Mm -hmm. Easy. Yeah. And for such as formats as push notification and interstitial, you will be required to uh, make a creative. That is the set of the image and the text. So you need to come up with the visual part and the textual part of it. And you need to be creative in order to make a good creative. So you may, may check spy tools for more inspiration and uh, check how other advertisers run campaigns, what kind of creatives they use. You, uh, take it as a basis and then make something even better for your campaign. Adam, we are asking which affiliate offer types are recommended to run without pre The first that comes up my mind is applications. Candy Crush sells itself, for example. Just an example, then we can um, go uh, further. All right, it's time to launch a campaign together. Yeah, you're full yeah. armor with tons of info and now it's time to practice because we have a great lesson and now we're going to practice together. Let's okay. decide what vertical we're going to work with. So we are, as affiliate marketers, to choose an offer and a vertical. And we already said that it's better for you to start with sweepstakes CPI or cost per install or dating offers. What guys. do you choose? Is it going to be dating? Is it going to be sweepstakes or is it going to be applications? I think enough yeah. of the applications. Candy Crush will be making money today with, for no reason, huh? Yeah, drop us a line in the chat. We are waiting for your suggestions. What kind of vertical we need to choose? Sweeps, dating maybe, applications. Dating, please. <laughs> This is our choice. <laughs> we have too many sweeps and a few dating as well. You are, okay. You're we, brave. Miss Nastia, Miss Nastia, we are we are through a pandemic, all right? Everybody wants to mate, but we're not allowed to go to bars or to restaurants in many places on earth. People really want to date. How about we create a dating campaign at the end, shall we? Uh-huh. That I see many of you also agree with Consta that we need to create. Not everyone agrees with me. <laughs> Let's do dating, guys. Come on. <laughs> All right. Okay. It's so hard to decide. Well, let's choose dating, okay? okay. We uh, <laughs> create a campaign for dating as an example. And the next time, we'll create a Swift Say campaign. All right. Let's go. Uh, here uh, you can see the CPI offer, oh sorry, CPA offer of the dating vertical. Uh, we also got it from Zedu. Zedu, hello. Statistics uh, basically, it's simple guys, it's what we showed you before with Oh My God VPN, but now we have a You Get Late uh, offer for the dating. <laughs> We don't choose the, 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 the words. And uh, again, you see the geos, uh, the payout. You see now we have a payout of $5.68 uh, per, um, per registration. So can you guys tell us what are the audiences we're looking for? Um, is it male? Is it female? Is it both? What ages are we looking for? And what countries, obviously? Mm -hmm. Tier one countries, yes. Tier one, yeah. In the meantime, as we see this is an SOI registration, so the user just have to uh, complete the form with their email or maybe their phone number, mostly mail. Platform, it's both desktop and mobile, mm -hmm. and the recommendations. No. So, shall we start? Shall we create it? Yeah, and we also need to um, create an image the oh, yeah. that we will use. Now let's choose the 
pro appropriate image for our creative. What image it looks for you more attractive? Let's vote. Give Choose. us a number. Three. Three? Oh, that, Natasha. Six. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Actually, you may choose two of them, and I will say later why. One and six, okay? Three, four and five. <laughs> three, six. I say three many times. Two, three, three, three. Okay. okay. We have to three. Say, although, guys, if, with our experience, uh, number three, although it's beautiful and it looks uh, some very romantic, etc., a you get laid offer is made. <laughs> it's designed to bring people together in um, in other ways. All right. So mostly, if our um, if our uh, audiences is um, male or female that are looking for a woman, then we would see something uh, like one or four or five more applicable to that. So although we ask for your opinion, we will go with ours. We love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess many of you voted for three and we will choose another one image as the smaller one. And we also need to uh, think about the text, the catchy one that will attract users' attention, that grabs their attention and <laughs> stuck in their head. <laughs> and how can the crushes catch you up in conversations? So write some uh, write some text, guys, that you think it ha it cannot be too much, it cannot be brutal, it has to be acceptable, let's say. Uh -huh. that kids may see that by mistake. So give us some recommendations. And in the meantime, uh, Miss Nastia, can you move us to the dashboard of Propeller mm -hmm. and start? Yes. Right? Sure. Okay. Let me share my screen. And I will keep an eye on the not yet uh, recommendations from our guys and girls about the uh, texts. Give um, us some text, guys. Just a sec. Let me share the screen. <laughs> Why you get late, you will get paid. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my God! Okay, guys, keep 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 doing that. It's really making me. Okay. I don't even need beer anymore, really. <laughs> okay, so I'm here at oh, the platform. Oh, sorry. Can you see my screen, guys. Consta, please. No, we are still uh, looking at the beautiful women and the guy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> miss call from uh, uh, miss call from Linda. I miss you. That's could be good. Hey, are you fit to chat? Yes, that could be good. These guys are our experience, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there we yeah. go. This is our dashboard. Welcome to Propeller Ads dashboard. Yeah, welcome. And I will go to the. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's name our campaign like test dating. Yes, guys. And Free tip, always name the campaigns in a way that not only you will understand, but your account manager as well, because we're here to help you uh, give us uh, something understandable, please. Mm -hmm. So let's do push notification, right? Yeah, we recommend you to start with push notification as the easiest format for newbies. Uh, and it's also interesting that you need to upload creatives. That's why we vote for push notification now. And as I already said, CPC pricing model will work perfectly. So for testing, it's push notification, CPC campaign. And here Perfect. you see classic push and in-page push. Consta, give us a few comments about it. Classic push is what we described before. In-page push, uh, it's when somebody's around the web navigating and they get the same format as in a classic push. It's very new, very revolutionary as well. And uh, yeah, try it and don't untick this box. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's just an additional uh, monetization for you. Mm -hmm. So, let's actually, see. you also need to have the target URL. This is the main part of creating campaigns. This is the link that your audience will go to. So, I am on the Zeta account, and here is the link of the offer. I'm just copy it and paste it here. 
you also see a few parameters or special tokens that you should change in order to start working. If you need more info, please refer to your guidebook and uh, ask uh, assistance in the chat here or in the Telegram chat, and we will provide you with more info how you can set up the perfect target URL that will work. That's correct. Cle frequency capping, one times per 24 hours. Uh, no, I read it like, okay, whatever. Frequency capping means how much, what is the maximum times that a user will see or click on the advertisement per 24 hours in this case. By default, we have 124. We suggest that you leave the default because we, it's coming after, it's deriving after a lot of resources that we uh, spend in time to find what's the best. After, it's a very cool optimization tool to get more traffic or less or whatsoever. Mm -hmm. And uh, we come to the point when we need to upload creatives. So we okay. need to upload images. I will, and I will scroll up. I will scroll up and um, and just choose one. We had really, really good answers here. Huh? Yeah, please tell me, Consta, what would you choose? And I will type it here. Hey, are you free to chat? Free to chat? Yeah, it, it said, hey, are you free to chat? It comes from the noise. OK, OK, I say, hey, are you free? To chat and let's uh, write in the description one a date okay maybe a wink like one a date okay. <laughs> i will show you <laughs> how to use emojis that later and we need to upload the smaller image this one uh for icons and the bigger image that fits for retina display for mac uh, devices and uh, you can use just one or upload both in order for you to have a wide range of different um, operational systems so here on the right side you can see examples of how your uh, ad will look like so let's upload image that we chose uh, we can choose the small picture let's say it will be this one and we chose number three if I'm not mistaken right Yes, public opinion chose number three. Okay, <laughs> let's uh, look at how it will look like on Android, Windows, Mac operational system, and especially but, for in page push. Not bad at all. Yeah, great. So, okay. I think we're almost done here. Ah, okay, traffic options. We have propeller ads, which is the direct publishers that we work with. And then we have brokers traffic. Obviously, as a, as a network, Propeller Ads, we're working with other networks and we buy their traffic after we filter it, of course, as well. Suggested is to use both as per default. And again, it's an optimization tool in your hands. Mm -hmm. User activity, this is the characteristics that allow to divide users into three cohorts, into three different groups according to their activeness, how active they interact with the ad. High uh, user activity uh, consists of the audience or people that are really interested in all kind of ads. They interact, they click, they download, they want to watch everything. And uh, medium and low for those who uh, have seen ads for a few times already and that are not really really interested in it or not really at all. So if you just start, we recommend to leave it as it is and uh, take all the three cohorts to start with and then you all can right. test which one works better for you. Nastia, I want you to know that you're very, very lucky that you cannot see the chat the last 10, 15 minutes because people are <laughs> you, are you see there? Even, even the people in this room are having so much fun. You've no idea. Everybody's laughing here. Ha, 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 ha. It's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> All right, country. Uh, let's choose, let's say, um, New Zealand. Mm -hmm. If you remember, okay. it's there. And you have the recommendation. So the recommended is 0 0.201. Let's go by for that with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you don't know, you need to uh, go to the recommended one. If you're experienced enough, you may choose the price that you think would be uh, would work good for your campaign. Yes. Okay. You also can target cities and states. We'll leave it for now. Just yes, for just guys, before we, yes, we're almost at the end, but obviously there's so many features in our platform. We, we are here to explain everything, but now we're just showing uh, quick steps on how to easily create a campaign. Yeah, so the basics. Let's just move to the budgets, I guess. Mm -hmm. and so, how much you want your campaign to spend, 
we can start with thirty dollars, let's say, so that you don't overspend. You're not um, worried that everything your money will be exhausted, and then we see. Obviously, the more money you get, the more you want to spend. But let's start with thirty in this case. And mm -hmm. campaign budget is just if the advertisers tell you, "I want you to spend one thousand dollars," and that's it. You just mm -hmm. add it, so you don't have to worry that the campaign will automatically stop. This mm -hmm. is a good yes. Okay. And we come to targetings. So you've seen in the CPA offer description that we can work with both desktop and mobile. Let's choose both, but uh, be attentive that if you create campaigns for push notifications and use uh, IELTS, you cannot work with it because push notifications do not work for uh, IELTS operational system. So be careful here. I have to say that yes, we chose both, but in dating, um, traditionally mobile looks seems to work a tiny bit better. Again, yeah. test you guys. All right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and then, uh -huh. yes, sorry, you go. <laughs> you have a wide range of different targetings as well. So if you want to check them by yourself, please go register account at Propeller Ads and uh, create your first ad campaign so you can find the huge number of different settings that will allow you to scale your campaign or to have the uh, perfect yeah. combination of targetings. Yeah, and we go to audience. Audiences are, uh, it's an amazing tool for retargeting. I'm not gonna go into depth, but we went into depth last time. Uh, there is a link from another webinar about retargeting strategies and audiences. Uh, you can choose people that they are, um, interested in dating by collecting them and then you can retarget them that's mm -hmm. all for now let's not go into details okay and last but not least you need to uh declare and guarantee that you agree with our terms and conditions uh and once you create a campaign it will be sent to moderation mm -hmm. usually your campaigns will be checked by our moderators within a few minutes but sometimes it can last about a few hours that's okay and uh, during this procedure, your campaign will be checked if it fits our guidelines, if it's okay, uh, if everything works good enough. And then here. Start the campaign. Thanks very much for watching. Let yeah. us all have a beer, even the people in New York. You can have a beer from us, guys, now. Yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for joining us, guys. Thank you so much. See you soon. Bye bye. Bye.